how the course price stand when we are doing any sales so uh, first of all i will uh, show you the product so here i have added one uh, product that is ipad mini mini yes so now uh, if we can see here uh, the course price is 400 but while if you check the inventory valuation for this particular product then you can see the different price this is uh, so here you can see uh, here the uh, different course price than the uh, than on the products so this is the uh, how sometimes we are adding the landed cost or something additional cost on the particular product then inventory valuation is corrected or updated but the cost price is still on the uh, old price so until we deliver this product this price will not be changed so uh, actually we don't know which products we are going to deliver and uh, that's why it is not updating the product cost price but once it is confirmed that the, we are going to deliver this product or uh, this stock then uh, this uh, the course price will be updated so uh, let's go to the sales order and we can try to create one sales order for this product i'm choosing any user and i paid okay so once I select the uh, product iPad mini you can see the cost price still 400 so let's confirm okay now once it is confirmed then a delivery order is there now uh, we have to deliver we have only one product available in our stock so it is by default available now once we validate the inventory like outgoing picking if we check the valuation of this particular outgoing moves then you can see uh, the outgoing will be charged at this much cost so uh, this cost is different than the sales order but now once you done this delivery order and if you go back to the sales order you can see the updated price in the cost so <clears throat> So previously when we are creating the sales order there is the old cost but once we deliver the product the cost price will be updated with the latest one. So uh, from this way actually if we are um, uh, now onwards if we are creating the invoice it will consider this cost price so our margin report will be correct. So this is the how it is uh, change the cost price uh, in the sales order. You, and even though on the delivery order if you can check the valuation of this particular delivery that is based on the latest or whatever inventory cost it is based on that uh, it will create the general entries so if you uh, go to the general entry then you can see with the same price so here you can see this one is uh, with the uh, updated cost price so uh, actually this is the how it is uh, updating the price now onwards let's uh, go back uh, to sales order uh, and uh, let's check the product so now you can see now uh, the product have a latest cost so if the sales product uh, sales order having the latest cost then that's not an issue now onwards you can create the invoice and everything and your margin report also will be correct because uh, you have a, a correct uh, cost price on this one so you can see the margin also affected with the correct margin price and correct margin percentage thank you